Hey guys, so welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. We've chosen our waifu and we had the great waifu debate in the comments. So thank you, 98% of you that did not unsubscribe the moment I chose Yukiko. Let's um, let's carry on through the week. We're expecting rain very shortly after I ask for permission to change the channel. So possibly Naoto's gonna recover this week. I don't know, I can't tell. The weather forecasts, like in real life, we can't rely on it too much, it seems. Uh, Dojima is available to hang out with tonight, but uh, let's see what's going on in town, shall we? I have to tell you, it was a very, very tough choice. I love Chie, I love Yukiko, and I love Rize as well. Haven't gotten to know Naoto yet, haven't really gotten to know Ai yet either, so uh, for now she just looks like a total jerk. But uh, I am aware she gets some development later on. I see Ko was available. We uh, need to hang out with him as well. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we're not going to be able to rank up with him the next time we see him, so maybe tonight we just spend some time with him, shall we, instead of Dojima. But I need to summon a Persona first and perhaps uh, make a Persona for good old Margaret. Oh, well, looky here, we've got another poem. Interesting, I haven't hung out with Marie yet, so what's going on here? Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. At night time, no less. There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in violent handwriting. My list. The hated. People who are all talk. The lying grown-ups. Keeping up appearances. Hypocrites. Myself. I hate myself. She Don't made her own list. The light. Animals. Only cute ones, though. <laughs> like... Cats. Milk tea. I like lemon too, though. Mm. Black. Blue. Gray, too. Only dark gray. And. Me. Oh, wow, that was surprisingly deep at the very end there, but come on, you have to. You can't just put in. I like animals. Only the cute ones, though, you know? <laughs> I don't like the ugly ones. <laughs> This must be another of Marie's poems. Da! Ah! What is this? I told you not to read these. Why do you keep reading them? Are you stupid or something? Idiot. This is just a note. A note. Do you understand? Say it. It's a note. Um, Margaret? I swear, they're just teasing Marie at this point. She's just like leaving her poems lying around for me to find. You think you see Margaret's eyes narrow, but only for an instant. And Igor is just like, <laughs> You're at the top of my list now. Oh, I hate you so much, you lying hypocrite. Just please stop reading these. Marie returns to her seat, blushing furiously. Right, I mean, I'm trying not to read them, but I can't help it sometimes. Someone needs to pick it up. It can't just lie down there at Margaret's feet. Right, now let's summon a persona and see if we can fulfill Margaret's request. I feel like seeing a Black Frost with the Otto Sukukaja ability. Black Frost is of the Fool Arcana. The Fool Arcana does not mean that it can be taken lightly. No, I cannot be taken lightly, you're quite right. The Fool is number zero. It is the void from which all other things begin. Just what was it that made everything begin for you, I wonder? And what will happen for you now? <laughs> I'm filled with a need to know. I'll await your return. Yeah, yeah, science! Welcome to the Velvet Room. That's right, it only took 25 minutes this time to figure out the combination required to make a Black Frost with Otto Sikukaja. It uh, took some time, but I scrolled through the list, painstakingly so, and found the right personas needed to make a Pyro Jack with Otto Sukukaja, and that translated over to Black Frost. Ah, you have brought Black Frost, and he has Otto Sukukaja. You have successfully completed the quest. Do you know this persona's tragic past? No, I do not. Black Frost lived alone for over thousands of years. While enduring this solitude, he prayed to the sky over and over, pleading, give me a friend. Eventually, the god he served granted him a friend for a single day, and the two of them frolicked through the fields as happy as could be. They spent many precious hours together, and then the sun set, the friend vanished. Black Frost regretted his request, right, because obviously 
having that friend for one day only to lose him gave him pain that he never would have had if he <laughs> just stayed alone, right? A different kind of pain, but one I guess he was used to at that point. If he had known, he would have been left sad and lonely. He would never have asked for a friend in the first place. Hence, Blockfro. Blockfro? I didn't mispronounce it. Oh, okay, sorry. I mean, you're the expert. I'm, I'm just here to believe what you say. Forget it. I made it all up anyway. Wait, what? I just said I believe everything you say. Now you're saying you're making stuff up? Did you believe me? Adults shouldn't be so easily swayed by what others say. But you're the expert. You shouldn't be faking these kind of things, okay? I rely on you and Igor for information and Marie for her poems, which she, you know, shares involuntarily towards me. Anyhow, I appreciate that you showed me this wonderful card. One after another, you make my every wish come true. What a gentleman. Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm taken, <laughs> Margaret, okay? I, I've uh, gone steady with Yukiko. I don't have a ring or anything to prove it. You're just gonna have to believe me, okay? Thankfully, uh, Yukiko can't see our intimate relationship in this location, <laughs> seeing as, uh, what is it? We're in a place between time and space <laughs> or something of the sort? <laughs> Margaret is smiling gently. I will not be swayed. He became a little more intimate with Margaret. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Rank six. Wow, I'm surprised we actually made it to rank six. We're powering through this. The Margaret social link has reached level six. Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown. Well then, for my next request. Show me a Yatagarasu, equipped with the Megiddo skill. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. I eagerly await your return. I bet you do. But, uh, Megiddo, that sounds... that sounds promising. I think I've got one somewhere, surely. Ah, oh, yes! Yes! I can pay my way to victory this time. Excellent, but I won't. <laughs> I'll save it for next time. Not looking forward to have a, having a double dose of Margaret after I've just asked Yukiko out, you know? I might, I might uh, go backsies on my decision. Now, I actually can also hang out with Rize tonight because I don't think we can advance our bond with her either. But uh, it's been a while since I've hung out with the basketball team, so... Alright, Ko, I'm choosing you over Rize because I don't want to share the terrible news that I'm off the market with her. That's cold. <laughs> then again, she might be kind of relieved after what I said, you know, all those uh, days ago. Yo, so... It's starting to get a little cold out at night. Yeah, well, maybe we should head on inside. <laughs> head on home. Oh yeah, do you have some time? Then let's talk for a bit. It has been a long time since I've hung out with you. Ko seems bored. He might appreciate it if you talked with him. Since you have Sandman, you should spend the evening with Ko. Yes. All right. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I like how you roll. Ko seems happy. Well, I'm glad he's happy because, again, I'm sitting down looking lifeless as ever. <laughs> so I just st I'm not even looking at him, I'm just like staring at the stars, listening to what he's saying. It's almost time for the opener. Don't look at me like you don't know what I mean. Basketball? The Japanese Pro League? I, I ain't even looking at him. I love watching basketball too. I check the scores every day. I used to watch basketball. I used to love watching basketball. I don't know why I kind of fell off it. I guess at time zones, really, it's hard to watch when it takes place during the middle of the day here in New Zealand. It makes me happy to see the people who I watched play in high school years ago make it big now in the pros. True, true, it's always nice to see people succeed, especially people you know. You can always be that guy in the crowd, be like, oh, I went to school with that person, I went to school with that person. And it's a good way to learn. Like, which playstyle best fits us Japanese players? Hmm. You're a scholar. Let's butter him up a bit. Mm hmm <laughs> Well, I uh, mostly watch it as a hobby, but watching really makes me want to get out in the court and play. Ko is enjoying himself. I, I, every time I watch Possible, I feel like dribbling a ball. It's just that I'm not very good at it. <laughs> the last playoffs were intense. It came down to a buzzer beater in the finals. Everything was in slow motion. I want to make a game-winning shot like that. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's it's stressful getting put in that position, Ko. You don't want to be that guy who has to clutch it and then fail at the last second. That There's nothing more devastating in a game, in a, any competitive game, than failing at the very last second. You made small talk with Ko. You feel your relationship with Ko has grown deeper. You feel you're going you're gonna to become closer soon. Always nice to read those words. Oh, is it that time already? 
I need to be getting home. Oh yeah, do you want this? A girl in my class gave me some, but I don't need this much. <laughs> you don't need this much blue cheese chips? Well, color me surprised. <laughs> Take care on your way home. All right, I'll put it in the fridge and see if anyone be has- Be careful going home. The courage to eat blue cheese chips. Ugh. Ugh. No wonder you gave it to me. You parted with Cohen and went home. He's like, I, I, I already have too much of this. This entire packet is too much for me, okay? I, I don't want anything. All right. Forecast rain in the evening. All right, great baton work. It's the most important part of a relay. Keep practicing. It doesn't matter how fast you run. If you drop the baton, you'll lose valuable time. Just keep passing that baton until you reach the anchor. It's fundamental, but difficult. <laughs> By the way, the word anchor was originally used in a different track and field sport. Hmm, how about a question for Walker Sr.? Wow, okay, doesn't even say my first name. Which of these sports also uses an anchor? Um, I would say tug of war. You know what? It doesn't matter. My knowledge is maxed out, so I'm just gonna say tug of war. Why not? You gave the answer you thought was right. You got it, so- Oh, jeez. I mean, my knowledge is maxed out for a reason, guys. The player supporting the end of the rope was acting as an anchor, and thus called so. I- okay, well, jeez, they, they named it after me. <laughs> It crossed over into other sports, and so the last runner in a relay is also called that. All right, one more time with so as the anchor. Ready, go. <laughs> you answered correctly. Your knowledge has increased. Big brain time. Class is ended for today. You are waiting for Nato to recover. Come on, Nato, I need you to recover, my friend, so we can advance the plot. We don't know where he's gone. We don't know where he's ended up. They say you need to wait 24 hours to report a missing person. Obviously, that's not true, but. I don't know. Should I call the cops? Should I tell Dojima? Something to ponder. Not much we could do on a rainy day, but we can attend the cultural club. Oh, so can. All right, it's a practice day today. Are you going? I have Kusith, but my relationship's not ready to advance yet. Uh, it's either this or go eat at Aya, but I think let's just work towards uh, ranking up our cultural club social link as well. I see. You're working hard, huh? Yumi smiles weakly. I'm sorry, but you should go to practice by yourself. I have to go somewhere. I'll drop by if I can make it. Inaba Municipal Hospital Corridor. You talked with the despondent Yumi for a while. Welcome Damn. back! Still not getting closer soon with her? Oh well, that's fine. We'll see if we can hang out with her one night. It's still raining though. Ah, broke out the old war chist. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Recovered 25,000 yen and paid my way to rank 7 with Margaret. Wonderful. This Yatagarasu has the Megiddo skill. You have successfully completed the request. Riddle me this. What kind of Yatagarasu is a crow with three legs? Uh, I, a special one? I accidentally told you the answer. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I spoiled it. I wanted to give you a riddle that my master once told me. It was difficult, yet entertaining. And somewhat sad. Since we've begun meeting this way, I've gained an interest in words. Anyway, thank you for showing me this exquisite card. Margaret is smiling gently. He became a little more intimate with Margaret. Alright, that's good. Rank 7. What is next? What can I do for you now? Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown. Well then, for my next request. I'd like a Yatsufusa that knows Mediorama. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. Okay, Yatsufusa, or something or other. Uh, another nice, easy one. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Not so bad this time. This Yatsufusa has Mediorama. You have successfully completed the request. I didn't even need a skill card for this one, even though I'm pretty sure I've got it. I can feel your heart. Oh, please stop. <laughs> Words can express nothing. The only way to convey meaning is through the communication between hearts. So, Waku Sr. and Margaret. Nope, not happening, Margaret. You can't just start shipping us when I've already committed to a relationship, even if it was just yesterday. What do those names have in common? Uh, nothing, really. You're, you're not a senior, are you? Oh, no, there's nothing in common. What if I had called myself Margaret at the beginning of the game? Would there be, like, special takes going, No, there's nothing in common between Margaret and Margaret. I was testing your generosity. Or my mental gymnastics as to 
whether or not I could find a link. Good job. You passed the test. Margaret seems a little embarrassed. Yeah, that's right. I'm taken, all right? He became a little more intimate with Margaret. Honestly, she doesn't get out much, I suppose. She should take a page out of Marie's book. Well, wait, she probably does. She probably takes a page out of her book and leaves it on the ground for me to find. Rank eight with Margaret. What's next? Well then, for my next request. What I'd like is a Ganesha with the Tetrakarn ability. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. I do have access to Ganesha, but I don't know if I've got a Tetrakarn card. That's hard to come by, I'm sure. Nope, we're fine. We're all good. Why am I even worried? Should I just, like, burst my way through Margaret's social link now? I like how I have to leave and come back into the Velvet Welcome Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you. I was just here a second ago, but that's fine. Your Ganesha knows Tetrakarn. You have successfully completed the request. <laughs> what a long nose. Yeah, that's called a trunk. By the way, have you heard this song about a long nose? What happens in the Velvet Room, nobody knows. But the Master has a very long nose. Did Marie write that? Or is that one of your uh, special songs that you play at karaoke whenever you and the Master go out? <laughs> How nostalgic. I used to sing this song with that girl. How I miss those days. Margaret is smiling, her eyes narrowed. It became a little more intimate with Margaret. Sang with that girl. Hmm? Maybe it's the uh, Velvet Room person of Persona 3. I'm aware that they're different with each game. Uh, I don't know if they're related or they're friends or, or what. Or if uh, Igor just has a high turnover problem with his stuff. But we've got rank 9 with Margaret. So close to maxing it out. Well then, for my next request. Bring me a trumpeter with the mind charge skill. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. All right, uh, I haven't seen Trumpeter on my list of fusions, so this might take some time. I mean, I can fuse him. Whether I can be bothered at this point, probably not. Let's save this for later when I start building up my bank again, because uh, I would have to fuse White Rider, Daisoju, and Pabosag. Everyone else I've got a card for already. Okay, the end game is in sight. At least with Margaret. I don't know when the end of this game's coming. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, we can't hang out with Nanako this evening, so what do we do? Read a book? Maybe uh, work on Ark's um, understanding? First, a text message. You received a text message. It's from Kanji. Hello, Senpai. Do you like movies? There's this new movie out called Daichiko Story. And I'm just a sucker for movies about dogs. If you're going to see it, would you let me know so I can come too? The movie Kanji wanted to watch is now being shown at the theater. If you go to the movie theater, perhaps you should invite Kanji. I will bear that in mind. For now, though, let's get to work. Back to making origami cranes. You carefully and precisely folded cranes for a person you have never met. Your understanding has increased. You suddenly forgot how to make origami cranes. Rely on muscle memory. That's what I do when I forget a password <laughs> or a special combination of numbers that I need for a login. You empty your mind and let your hands fold paper by themselves. Before you know it, you made a mountain of cranes. Excellent. The bundle of cranes has not been completed. You'll have to continue next time. Jeez, I'm not paid by the hour for making cranes, obviously. Midterms are starting on Friday next week. Are you guys studying hard? Or hardly studying, hmm? Well, let's get back to basics then. Let's look at the world map. Take note that Japan is in the center of the Japanese maps. Other countries center their maps in different places. Most maps don't even have New Zealand on them, which is a shame, but uh, it's fine. No one knows we exist in case an apocalypse happens, I suppose. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? Uh, let's see, Amagi-san. No, I'd feel bad about that. So, Hanemura! Wait, me or Hanemura? <laughs> what? Why would he feel bad for asking Yukiko but not me? <laughs> because she knows the answer and she's gonna show the class up. I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you know the answer, So, uh, It'll be on the right edge. You gave him the answer you think is correct. Oh, you got it. I believed in you. Really? Yes, in foreign world maps, Japan is placed on the eastern edge. Now you know why they call this part of Asia the Far East, or the Land of the Rising Sun. Foreign maps are designed to be centered on the prime meridian at zero degrees of longitude. 
Oh, I see. I think so. <laughs> Yosuke appreciates you. You feel like becoming a little closer to Yosuke. My expression has increased. Easy. Looking forward to these exams. Class of ended for today. You're waiting for Nato to recover. I mean, I was contemplating going to Aya, but we can just go to the shrine instead, right? And see if we can um, boost our relationship with someone. It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. It seems the fortunes are put away on rainy days. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> all right, it's time. I don't think we can quite finish it, but it's uh, worth it all the same. This is the Chinese diner Aya. Aya seems to be having some kind of promotion today. Rainy day challenge. Make a beef bowl. 3,000 yen. 191,000. I'm running out because I had to buy my way through uh, Margaret's social links. That's fine. We'll top it up once we head back into the TV world at some point. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner Aya. Look at me. I'm speeding up this time. He accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. Like, this guy must just stare at me and feel bad each time I order it. He's just like, oh yeah, what a waste of food. But it's okay. It's a special promotion. You still can't see the rice. Begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. I need understanding of my limits, knowledge to control my pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special make a beef bowl challenge. I'm unable to finish the meal in my current state. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special make a beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased, your knowledge has increased, your diligence has increased. Ah, yeah, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. Thank you for your continued patronage. Take this as our appreciation for your business. I was actually born and raised in Inaba. I only talk like this because of what I learned in this book. Obtained the ramen way. Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, the diary of your daughter or something. You <laughs> were trying to ship us still. I, uh, I heard that you live with a police detective named Ojima-san. My daughter met a man named Ojima when she made a delivery to the police station. She said she, he looked a little like you. Your family must be filled with handsome men and beautiful women. <laughs> Sir, I just can't, I just want my mega beef ball. Thank you. <laughs> After finishing your meal, you went home. Sir, this is Aya. And now, Aya. the weather. <laughs> the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. Um, it's hump day. I don't think the week is quite over just yet. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. All right, here we go. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Dojima's not here. There was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. It's the peach battle suit combo you purchased from the TV show. And wasabi jelly. Can't forget that. All right, well, I don't think we can head out t tonight, so let's go on upstairs, return to your room, and watch the Midnight Channel. Watch TV in your room. Kind of scared to find out what would happen if we didn't go in and rescue the, the victim. We'd be like, it's midnight. I'm going to check if the fog's out there. I'm going to watch TV. Oh my god, they're dying! Let's check outside. All good. The fog is set in. Let's see. No surprises, please. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Nalto has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Again. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district, the killer coming out of retirement. Damn it. Again. They sound like they're getting frustrated. Standing in front of Aya. Where's that old man patrolling? I need him to scout for me, perform recon. What's up? Hey, Nalto. You're back to school. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. You're quite welcome. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. If you didn't survive, you know who's going to be my rival. They'll mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. Still wearing the male uniform, huh? After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Oh god, here we go. It's begun. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Oh, oh crap! Oh crap, rumor-loving student's gonna have a field day with this, considering that's his adjective. 
Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Hmm. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? She's a detective. I mean, hell yeah, that's cool for a high schooler. Imagine. My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Welcome to high school. We're on your side. Thank you. It's easy to say, you know, just ignore him, but it's, it's, it's not that easy to do. It's just gonna stick in your head, isn't it? But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I'm glad you could, uh, let it slide off your back. So please, treat me as you did before. All right, sure. Well, the f competitive fire within me will not die down then. That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. That would be good, actually. See if you remember anything from when you disappeared. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. No. Much to his chagrin. Let's go over the finer points after school. Alrighty. Incoming rank up for the investigation team, perhaps? Juness Food Court. Oh god. First, I heard the doorbell ring. Uh, couldn't we pull more chairs? I guess that would be kind of discourteous for any other customers that come along, but that's okay. The doorbell rung. Okay, that's consistent. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. It's cool that Naoto actually remembers what happens. Or what happens, sorry, not what happens. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Right, so the doorbell rang. You go to the door, you open the door, there's no one there, so that's obviously some kind of diversion. They're already in your house when they grabbed you. So, they've got to be using the TVs, right, to travel back and forth around town like, like a freaking imposter venting? Hmm. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack, and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. A sack? What the heck? Santa Claus? Wow, how could you remember all that? Instead of ringing the doorbell, he comes down the chimney, grabs you from behind. Potentially the culprit. I might add that to the cork board. We'll see. The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious chemical to incapacitate you so do they have access to chemicals if we've got those chemicals uh at school in the police station at juness oh boy <laughs> i mean we need to find out where you can get these chemicals but uh trust Nauso to remember what happened i had been expecting a trick along those lines so i was somewhat prepared especially since you put yourself out there as bait right and of course i was desperate to gather as much information as i could she knows, I mean, you know, when you're kidnapped or, you know, involved in some sort of crime, whether it's an armed robbery or whatever, we're told to, you know, inspect the culprit, try and remember everything you can, like, don't try and stop anything from happening, because it's happening, and there's probably little you can do about it, especially with Naoto, she's incapacitated, she's stuck in a sack, for goodness sake. The best she can do is just try and remember details, and uh, hopefully relay that to information once relay that information once help arrives. No wonder you're an ace detective! It's it's very impressive, I have to say. That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. You have to be, right? If we're on the fritz, we're not gonna be, get anywhere. We're gonna be spinning our wheels in the same location. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. Okay, I think, I can't remember why we established that it was a man. I think it was just the, the appearance in the shopping district and the fact that we've always referred to the culprit as a man. Hmm. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. Or he could be just having a conversation in his head. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So your own TV, right? So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Hmm, unless they brought a TV along in their pickup truck or something. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? 
Is there a special TV in the shopping district that people get thrown over? That could explain why Rize disappeared so suddenly that one time where we saw her in uh, her shop. And then we went up the road to chase after that stalker and we came back, she was gone. Maybe there's some display TV on in the shopping district? Or maybe we're, we're just throwing them in their own TVs in their own places. Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. Might need to check that out next time I head into the shopping district. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. Did they, though? I mean, they must have, right? Because the bell's been rung at Yukiko's place as well. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Hmm. Such a bizarre experience, with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And, going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. They have a ritual, and they're sticking to it. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. Apart from Mr. Moroka, of course. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. Hmm, kind of effed up, isn't it? Like, performing a copycat murder just to get some attention? Oh, God. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. Yep, he was a red herring. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That is a good question, right? Because he wasn't on any TV or anything, and that goes against how the culprit picks his victims. So how did he end up in the TV world? How did the killer know he was the suspect? That leans towards either Dojima or Adachi, right? Because they're the police uh, officers investigating the case. It could have been Nato as well, but I'm starting to think that Nato might be innocent. Unless, again, this is all a gambit to prove their innocence. But uh, really, all along, it was a test for us to see what we're capable of. Hmm. I mean, Margaret did say, you know, don't just believe anything someone says randomly, even if it sounds believable and you want to believe it. So I'm not going to take Nato off my list just yet. It. That's what was bothering me. What's that? Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? Hmm. I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Maybe he just stumbled upon it. Yep. Could be. Or maybe he couldn't lure Moroka to a TV. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. Hmm. And obviously the, the real culprit right now, they've got a method. They've got the doorbell, they've got the chemicals, they've got the sack. Thrown into the TV, done in like five minutes. And remember the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time... I can use the TV world to my advantage. I can go in there and hide. What if I put my entire body into the TV? <laughs> you know, as your normal fugitives think. The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. But how do they come back into the real world? Do they just get spat out or what? And why do they end up in a high place like an antenna or a t t uh, television pole? Or, sorry, telephone pole. <laughs> Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. No, it was their body being tossed out of the TV world. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However... However, he is locked in solitary confinement probably right about now. I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. Really? Is it because of your disappearance or because they believe the case is closed? And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. That is why we formed the super team right before your eyes, Nato. And you are welcome to join. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. 
Especially in Japan, you know, they don't like overturning uh, convictions from what I gather. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. Mm, I see. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. And all the more so as well if the one causing all this disbelief is another juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. And then what are they going to do once another murder happens? What if we didn't save Naoto? What would they say? They'd be like, oh, we got a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Probably would have said that the case was so traumatic that uh, Naoto ended her own life. Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... What, fought back? I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? I mean, she is a detective, um, sorry, she is a teenager, so if we're dealing with, uh, an adult, they probably could overpower her easily, especially if they had those chemicals, right? Um... Do you want her to do some sort of home alone tactic where she booby traps her house? Um, to tell you the truth, I was really scared. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You knowingly put your life in danger and it was a matter of time before the killer came after you if your hypothesis was correct and you knew it was correct, so... I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize for that. It can't be helped. The only sad thing is, maybe you could have asked us to, like, stake out your place as well. You probably didn't need to do this all on your own. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. See, this is why Yukiko and I are partners, okay? We're on the same wavelength here, guys. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. <laughs> you know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. <laughs> For a girl. You know, girls can have courage. Yosuke, come on. Regardless, <laughs> I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. Yosuke just knows how to phrase things, doesn't he? Oh, God. My bro, my partner in crime. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. I mean, well, we know what his M.O. is, we just need to stick with the next potential victim, whoever turns up on the TV next, right? But this is no longer a mere job, or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Yeah, why? Why is he targeting people who appear on TV? Is it just jealousy, or, or what? Please allow me to join your effort. Of course. Of course, there you go. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Well, well, at least, you know, she already knows the hierarchy of this investigation team, guys, and I, I'm quite pleased. <laughs> She's not going to overthrow me or anything. Now to join the group, she'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. All right. Look at everyone looking at me expectantly, except for Nato, whose eyes are closed. Uh, rank 8 for the investigation team. The investigation team social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of that full arcana has grown. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Come again. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. All ah, right, of course. King of the geniuses, though, that's a bit of a stretch there, Teddy. Thank you. I guess we go into the TV world and test him, huh? They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. I mean, we're all teenagers, right? We're all looking to find ourselves. Wow! What a nice girl! That isn't an invitation for you to start flirting straight away, Teddy. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make the next move. It sucks, oh, but it's true. Welcome home, big bro! We need to wait for them to make the next move. Thank you, Nanako. I can work as a janitor, but there's no real point anymore because Psycho's left. I can hang out with Nanako this evening, though. Let's uh, get our veggies first. Hey, brother. You living up with your friends? I am, yes. That's good. You gotta take care of your buddies. If someone's in trouble, you help them. 
no questions asked. And if you're in trouble, don't wait around. Get help. That's my advice to you as a guy who's been around the block. <laughs> Thank you, drunk boss. Okay, we can hang out with Rize, but uh, I think the priority should be ranking up Nanako so we can catch up with uh, Dojima now that we've almost maxed him out. Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. I've got Angel. Our relationship's gonna be closer soon. We spend the evening with Nanako. Let's do it. Especially yeah. since she ran away last time. I'd like to uh, hopefully quell her concerns about her father. Okay, yay! Nanako looks happy. Um... I lost the paper I was supposed to return to school. What should I do? The teacher will yell at me. Uh, I'll help you look for it. Thank you, big bro. Nanako seems ready to cry with distress. It's okay, you know, lose forms all the time, and I understand getting scared about what the teacher's gonna say, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna matter too much. We decide to search the house. We'll find it, we'll find it. The papers Dojima is always going through are here. Hmm? A paper titled Parent Survey regarding scheduling for parent-teacher interviews was hidden among them. Looks like Dojima was uh, going to get around to it at some point. The word anytime has been written in the day requested box. Is this the paper Nanako was looking for? Hmm? There's something else hidden in the papers. It seems to be a photo. You decide to show it to Nanako. Ooh, what photo is it? He handed the paper and photo to Nanako. Nanako looks at the paper on the table. Is this the form? This is, right? It says, any time. I'll try on it. Yeah. So, he can come any time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh good, she's happy, and Dojima's making an effort to, to put his life back together. I like it. I like it. And this is a photo. Oh, this is... Mom. This little baby in the middle. That's me. Oh, he got a family photo. And that's a big deal because, like I said, he doesn't ha uh, he doesn't hang photos of his wife in the house. And every time he looks at Nanako, he goes through the pain of losing his love over and over again. Dad's smiling. Why did Dad stop smiling? Um... He's lonely, too. He is lonely. Huh? Dad's lonely? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you or anything. I... Oh, God. I was just trying to explain Dojima's, you know, predicament. I see. So that's it. Yeah, so you two gotta be there for each other, okay? Because you're both lonely, and if you're both feeling lonely, then you can easily rectify that by being there for each other, all right? Nanako's realized something. Well, it looks like I'll get the notes. I'll take them. After Mom died, I was lonely, but I'm not the only one who's sad that Mom's not here anymore. You're exactly right. Your dad is also sad. Dad, he was lonely too. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Nanako looks more mature somehow. You feel that your relationship with Nanako has grown deeper. I'm glad I can be here for you guys. Rank 8 with Nanako Dojima. The Nanako Dojima social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown. Thank you, big bro. It's okay. Just... I'm just... your fellow cousin. I mean, big bro. Will Dad ever smile like this again? I'm sure he will one day, when you... graduate, when you get married... So, you know, those kind of events. Nanako stares at the photo. <laughs> Good night. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. I almost spoke in her voice again. <laughs> I did that in one of my other videos. I was like, oh my god. I was really tired that time. Friday the 7th. It's almost the end of the week. Oh. Excuse me. Are you addressing the class or us? Oh, just us. Do you have time after school today? Yes, probably. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. Oh, yeah. Well, um... 
I don't know whether he just fell and banged his head a lot, or... Or I don't know what Hanako actually did to him as well the moment he started disappearing from that corridor. A doctor? <laughs> you mean a vet? <laughs> the normal kind, actually. Uh, I thought we were going to need some sort of specialized doctor. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. What's the doctor going to find? And if he finds anything abnormal, how do we explain it? And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. All right. Well, Nato has become the team medic, which, uh, you know, shit, I haven't thought about this. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Very responsible of Nato, I have to say. And, you know, we do get beaten up by the shadows all the time. I'm surprised we haven't needed to get ourselves checked out before now. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Also, we can see if the uh, killer did anything to our victims, Yukiko, to Kanji, Rize. Are they coming along too, or is it just us four? Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. <laughs> it's important. But yeah, I never even thought about that. I never even thought about it either. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, okay. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? <laughs> Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well, I'll see you all after school. All right. To the doctors we go. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Nalto's recommendation. Med scan for all. Everyone underwent a thorough physical at the hospital Nalto recommended. Hey, I work here. Do I get a that discount? It was just an ordinary checkup. Still, you know, ASMR and whatnot coming from the checkups. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. I enjoy checkups. I like just the feeling of them like inspecting everything about you and just trying to figure out if you're sick or not. I, I don't go to the doctors often enough. When normally when I'm sick, I just try and sleep it off. But when I do get my checkups, you know, feels feels relaxing and nice in a way. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. No, they were just confused as to why a pop star like you is just coming to this kind of hospital, not a private one or something. <laughs> oh, they're back. Oh, here we go. I'm very sorry for the wait. We found out that uh, Teddy has an incurable sex addiction. I'm very sorry for the wait. Right, and his eyes are glowing pale blue. Or bright blue, So did blue, they I find out say. anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. Wow. Profound. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. He has no bones? No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. What do you mean no matter how many times they tried? How many times did they x-ray him? How much radiation is he giving off right now? Just back off, Nato. Back away. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Hmm, but every time they take an x-ray, it's all censored and whatnot. What does that all mean? Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. Did you get an x-ray after him? That could have been a way to tell if the machine is malfunctioning. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Well, I mean, he's from the TV world, right? Oh my, what should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. <laughs> dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Yeah. Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh, yeah. I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Oh? Persona means something like another personality. That's correct. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Really? Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. I see, I see. Uh, 
I have to say I wasn't aware that shadow was a common psychological term. Um, persona definitely is. It's like personality. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. No. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. So I suppose I have a picture of a monkey with a missing hole in its chest holding a donut and pretending to be a security guard. A shadow is suppressed power. And when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Yep. We had to fight your shadow and before you could face yourself and claim it as a persona. Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Exactly. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. They get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. No, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> letting down our investigation team name. There's some things we do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. Really? It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... So... Ta-da! What is this? Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. Oh, uh, there's no need for this, Teddy. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! <laughs> go, we're gonna fight in the hospital. Ooh! <laughs> First place in the shortest legs division is... <laughs> huh, who would have guessed? They listed that? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Yeah, what the heck are they measuring? Look, if you're gonna blab it all, you might as well tell us the girl's measurements. <laughs> that light bulb that appears is just like, ooh. What? Are you a complete nut or moron? <laughs> I wouldn't call that a moronic decision. I'd say that was quite smart, if not, you know, dangerous for his own health. At least we're already at the hospital when you beat him up. Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Rize's just like, well, my bust is bigger than all your girls, so I'm not shy at all. Oh, but my bust size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. <laughs> <laughs> no! Don't say mine! Ah, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. Ooh. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. Yeah, you know, say what you want about Rize. She is not ashamed of her sexuality. What? She will just say whatever and, and confidently as well, and I, and I appreciate that. Oh yeah, Naoto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto Kun's is. Huh? <laughs> is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Rize, you sound <laughs> you sound surprised and. In a negative way. Have you been outmatched? Uh, anyways. <laughs> the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. Good, that's good. So we won't be needing these anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go shred them. Okay, well. <laughs> takes off. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Yeah, for now, until Chie busts your head. <laughs> you're, you're right. Let's go home. Uh, well, what a productive afternoon. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. Oh, Teddy sounds disappointed that he couldn't get some proper answers. I'm sure we'll figure something out, Teddy. Who knows, maybe the killer might be someone associated with you. And if we catch him, they might be able to give us some answers. They might even know more about the TV world than we do. Then you will find out together. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. No worries, buddy. Teddy is gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. Yes, advance more social links! We need to advance- Oh my god, it's only rank 6. Even Margaret's overtaken him. The Teddy social link has reached level 6. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Maracunda! Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! Sorry, don't yell in the hospital, the nurse is gonna tell us off again.
You're back. I am home. The midterms start next Friday. I've got a week. Study? Question mark? Probably not. <laughs> We're max knowledge, okay? I don't need to worry about that sort of stuff. Yumi's here, Yukiko is here. We should probably hang out with Yumi since we're not going to be uh, able to rank it up next time we see her in the daytime. I did see we'll be able to max out Dojima as well, so uh, let's let's wait on that for now until maybe we get Nanako up a bit higher as well. Hey. Oh, Sokun, it's rare to see you at this hour. Yeah, I kind of just run past you every time, but not this night. I was at the hospital just now. Someone was keeping me there for a while. Oh no, did we leave Teddy there and he was just chatting you up? I thought I could finally go home, but now I can't leave. I'm weird, aren't I? It seems Yumi doesn't want to go home yet. I have Yatagarasu, so no of the Sun Arcana. Should you spend the evening with Yumi? Let's do it. Mm. Thanks. I think I want to chat to get my mind off of things. Yumi seems happy. All right, brief chat. You cheered Yumi up with small talk. Thank you. Thank you, Sokun. I feel a little better now. It seems you were able to be of help to Yumi. Your relationship has grown deeper. Your relationship's going to come closer soon. Hmm. Oh, sorry, but I have to be going home now. Oh, yeah, did you want this? Um, Sour can you Konbu take this? From Yumi. I hear it's popular. Go ahead and eat it if you want. Oh, the bus is coming. Good night, then. Good night. Sleep tight. Oh, see you later. He saw Yumi off and went home. Raining first thing in the morning on a Saturday. <sighs> oh, good morning, senpai. Exams start next Friday, but I am just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is someone else. We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. Uh, I can't study either. That isn't good. If your grades drop, Dojima-san may suspect that something is going on. Wow, you're lecturing me about my grades? Alright, yep, this rivalry is heated up again. Please, do your best on the tests for the sake of the case. Oh yeah, I have to do my best for the sake of the case, but you can slack off a little. Anyway, we can only wait for the culprit to make his move. We must not forget to check the Midnight Channel, too. This is a crucial moment. It sure is. Good morning, everyone! Man, I feel like we see Mr. Kondo, like, at least three times a week. <laughs> Guess what? We're gonna have exams at the end of next week! I hope that nobody in here is being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying. Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor for somebody who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistaken belief that ostriches bury their hands in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. To feel safe just because you can't see the problem is sure a sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird though that has a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it on me, Waku Senior. Ah, uh, see what he did there? Lay it on him because birds lay eggs and yeah, okay, whatever. Let's do it. Be brave. Tell me what bird's name means coward in English. I'm going to say... Chicken. <laughs> Isn't that why we, we, we call people chicken? It doesn't matter anymore. I don't need my study guide because my knowledge is maxed out. So I'm just going to take a risk. Chicken. All right, that's correct. Oh, my God. man. See, I don't even need the study guide anymore. I might as well just burn it. Chicken is the word for coward in English. There are many theories as to why... You know how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? So why don't we call them geese? <laughs> it looks like a de-feathered chicken skin. Wait, then why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bumps? It doesn't matter. The point is, you need to face reality and boldly prepare for your tests next week. You gave the correct answer. Is this going to be on the test, Mr. Kondo, sir? Probably not. Whoa! It's... Freezing. Yeah, we need to be back in our winter uniform. What are we doing on the roof, and why is Teddy here in full costume? Probably why so Hanako doesn't recognize. are we together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? <laughs> I uh, pieced together the shreddings of that paper, and I figured out everyone's bus size. <laughs> Seriously? I was busy handing out flyers at Juness. Oh, wow. Well, this must be urgent. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was Got there him. some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. All right, what's going on? Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend is already halfway done. This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? There's something going on at the Inaba police station that's been cancelled? What are you talking about? 
The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh? Oh my gosh! The famous Konami is coming all the way out to the boonies! <laughs> hey, Rize came out here. She's on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. Uh-oh. Well, sounds like another potential victim. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! So, what are we supposed to do? Help cancel the sale? It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. Are you trying to rope Rize into, like, doing some sort of performance? I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. Oh. I'm sorry. This is my fault. It's okay. You couldn't have foreseen the knock-on effects from being kidnapped and, well, we've learned some valuable information from you. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? At least the police had their priorities straight. They're like, okay, we can't organize this event right now. We need to look for Naoto. And even though she's been a pain in the ass in terms of the case, you know, we can't just abandon one of our own. From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Okay, what do you need us to do? Um, Rise-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. Ooh, you're gonna owe her big time, Yosuke. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Come on, Rize. We're all friends here, right? And I don't want to pressure you or anything, but he'll be good. Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. Damn. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? Wow. All right. This is a desperate situation, all right? Singing and handshakes only. <laughs> no autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. Wait, what? What? Wait! I'm no idol! Oh, God. Oh, no. Alert. Alert. It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. <laughs> me too. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I, I mean... <laughs> I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. <laughs> but if you're going to sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? Yeah, am I supposed to just pretend to be a tree or something? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. You need a band? Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that! Hey, Yosuke, you ask, and th this is what it's gonna take. I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. Done. Nato's got the keyboard. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I like it. Nauto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. I've never really played it, though. <laughs> this is just good. Oh, God. I'm just, like, imagining... Uh, like that scene of Brooklyn Nine-Nine of Jake Peralta just, like, strumming the guitar going... Rah! Rah! Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. You accidentally bought a bass. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. Oh, you know it. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place. For dinner parties and such. I can play the triangle or the xylophone. One of those. Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. <laughs> Kanji? 
Then it's decided. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. You do realize he said this weekend, right? Which means... Wait, no. Yeah, this weekend. Wait. What? Hang on. Midterms start on Friday. But don't the exams normally take place over a series of days? We've got Friday and Saturday and then Sunday. Which weekend? Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? I'm guessing this weekend is in, like, the next one? And we've got exams as well we need to study for. Alright. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. If only I was in the music club instead of the drama club, considering my partner doesn't even turn up to practice. For a good reason, but, you know, still. So, what are we gonna do with these? Play them. I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. Right. I like that we're on what their caliber. What is that? The gong? <laughs> it's, it's what I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna introduce the act and then slip off the stage. It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <laughs> I see. Um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding these! What is it? Huh? Maracas! I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. Don't juggle and drop them, okay? All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here? <laughs> I'll choose this then. Tambourine? Okay. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? Well, is there anything that looks like a sword around here or a golf club? I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. <laughs> Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Chie, strap those guitars to your legs. They're gonna be your instruments. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Oh, please do. Leave it to me. Wait, do you already know how to play the bass? Because that would be awesome! N no, I do not. <laughs> Actually, I know next to nothing about it. Way to step up, partner. That's fine. Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? Hey, what's wrong with drums? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. Ooh. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. Yeah, good point. How does that make any sense? You just bash and bosh everything. <laughs> <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby, I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Funky student, are you in that costume? We should we should employ him. Uh. So that leaves Yukiko and me? You two, um... How about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? Ooh, backup singers. No, 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 can do! We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? Man, the things we do for Yosuke. <laughs> wow, look at us. Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? Yeah. School of Rock. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. Sure, it doesn't look bad, but how does it sound? <laughs> That's just one sense. <laughs> it's not doing anything. <laughs> Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. Um... That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. Well, I gotta confess, I've never tried to blow a trumpet before, so I don't know how that works. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? What? Oh yeah, I don't oh. know how to read music. 
neither, so we're just gonna need to freestyle this. I guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. Well, at least we can go out with a bang, Yosuke. <laughs> a brilliant concert performance. You all practice on your own until it gets dark. You decide to meet again tomorrow. Welcome home! Thanks, Nanako. I'm gonna need to watch a YouTube video on how to play music. Is that possible?